Hello Capricorn and welcome. To your February 2019 monthly reading, this is for Capricorn. If this resonates with you, Capricorn, please like, share, and subscribe, and leave me a comment. Make sure you hit the thumbs up button for me. I would greatly appreciate it. If this does not resonate with you, Capricorn, please do check your moon, your rising, and your Venus sign, as this will not resonate with every Capricorn out there. Please keep in mind that some of the energies can be vice versa or interchangeable. So however it resonates with you, this is for Capricorn, February 2019. What is going on with Capricorn, Capricorn? Okay. Wow. Wow, okay, so wish fulfillment at the bottom of the deck. We got some wish fulfillment here, <sighs> or we're going to, okay? So this is very nice. Um, opening your heart to somebody, them opening their heart to you. I feel like somebody's coming back for a second chance here. You got offers for sure. You've got offers, communication, um, maybe something you've been waiting for, for sure. But wish fulfillment is here, Capricorn. Wish fulfillment is here, okay? Now, at the heart of the reading, I feel like it's, it's, it's like a struggle between a second chance or a final decision, okay? And we're having a really hard time with this. We're having a really hard time with this. I feel like somebody's coming back in here. Like we've got offers here. Something that you've been waiting for, right? It's very stressful. It's causing high anxiety. You're all up in your head about it. This is the sleepless, this is the nightmare card, right? Where it gives you sleepless nights, nine of swords. Air energy, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. So we're, we've been thinking about this. We've been thinking about this. Like there was a final decision in regards to the situation. Still wanting a second chance here. And we're, we're waiting on that. We're waiting on that. Now at the root of the, of the reading, I think we've decided. Yes, okay, we do want this second chance. We're done thinking about it. Um, it's, it's very tiring. It's very tiring. Um, it's like somebody has been... really carrying it's it's very heavy this energy but a decision has been made here and we're waiting we're waiting right i feel like you tried to turn your back on the situation but it didn't work and now now we are trying the second chance again we're trying the second chance we're, we're looking out into the future we're, we're hoping for this second chance we're waiting Right in the in the recent past, we have this Queen of Pentacles. This is your energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Right, male or female, absolutely doesn't matter. Just been kind of patient. Still, I feel like she's just focused. Just kind of, she always looks sad to me. You know, just kind of waiting. Focused on career. Focused on money. Focused on taking care of herself. Yes, taking care of her finances. Yes. Taking care of um, herself, those around her, flawlessly, um, self, selfish, not or unselfishly, right? Just, it's like this, you've just been going on this hamster wheel, just over and over and over. And it's day in and day out, the same old, you know, stuff. And it's just, it's tiring. And we've been waiting. This is, to me, this feels waiting. To me, this is waiting. Up at night, just mm, just in your head, just ringing your head. It's like, oh, you can't sleep. For wanting the second chance to happen, to work out, whatever the case may be. 
Now, in the near future, we're opening the door. We're opening the door to this opportunity for a second chance. Okay? This has been a slow-moving uh, process, but it is here, and wish fulfillment is here. We have this page of pentacles. So it's a small offer. Let's see how this goes. Let's see where this where this takes us, right? It's more earth, earth energy here. So it's a serious offer, but it's a small opening. It's like this small window. Let's see if they, if we can if we can make this work. Let's see if we can get this second chance up and running. I've been thinking about it. I've been up at night thinking about it. I've been waiting for it. I, I've decided that this is what I want and and you know let's let's open the door. Let's see where this goes. What's crowning this reading is the page of cups. So this is water energy, cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces. This is, you know, there's still emotion here. This could be an apology. This could be an I miss you. This could be um, let's talk, you know, again, right? Very serious, uh, long time coming, but here it is. I miss you. I love you. I still love you. I, I want a second chance with you. This kind of thing, right? It's been in the works. Let's work on this. Let's, you know, see where our emotions lie here, okay? Capricorn, you've been very impatient, and it's it's very stressful here. This may literally take you by surprise, this whole situation, this whole second chance. It may take you completely by surprise here that this is, you know, uh, this this opportunity is finally getting underway. It's like you've been waiting for it. And you've just been concentrated on work and you've been concentrated on taking care of yourself and everyone around you and going through that hamster wheel day by day, shower, work, dinner, bed type of thing. And it's just so <sighs> day in and day out with that, day in and day out with that and up at night just thinking about this final decision how can we, you know and wanting the second chance and deciding yes this is what i want okay so but now near future there's there's offers here long time coming well thought out well planned but i missed you right this may just n knock your socks off here right it may knock your socks off you may rush in and just you know kind of just like here you know what i miss you Knight of Swords here, expect the unexpected. I feel like this burden, this burden right here of constantly thinking about this is going to be over. That is what is so tiring. That is what has been bringing down your energy level. It's exhausting. It has really just depleted your energy it has just dampened your spirit it's 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 so it's like you you couldn't let go of it it's like holding on so tight but here it is right here it is and we're finally to let go I feel like these are more burdens of just the constant thinking of this person, the, the, the constant thinking of the past, the constant thinking of how can we make this happen again. In your hopes and fears, you don't want to go through this again. You don't want to regret a missed opportunity here. You don't, you don't want to be focused on these spilled cups you don't want to feel this sadness again you don't want to lose this person again five of cups water energy the outcome here is the magician right either you or the other person's going to lay it out all on the table we're making this new beginning happen we're going to work on this i feel like this is a mutual thing the exchange of emotion here, wish fulfillment here. And finally, right? Finally. So new beginnings here, and we're going to make this happen. 
strong law of attraction card here. We've got all the tools to do it. I feel like this is a mutual thing here. We've got the sword for communication, the wand for passion, the cup for love, and the pinnacle for success. And we're going to make it work. We're going to make this new beginning work. We're going to make it happen. <sighs> wow. It's just like a, a huge relief. And we want it to go the right way. We, we want it. We want, it, we want to make it happen here. Please clarify this magician for Capricorn, February 2019. Yes, truthful new beginnings here. A victory here. We're going to start out the right way. We're going to start out in our truth. We're going to be communicating more directly. And we're going to be, you know, working on this. And we both want a victory here. King of Wands, energy at the bottom of the deck, going after what you want. And I feel like this is where this is um, coming in. Either you kind of got sick of waiting and this, all of these thoughts in your heads were just driving you crazy. And you just finally went for it, or they did, right? This is Aries energy, Leo Sagittarius. Um, fire, sorry, fire energy, right? King of Wands, very passionate about every aspect of their life, whether that is family, career, lovers, friends, whatever the case may be. They, the, this King of Wands energy goes after what they want, right? So going after what you want, finally, releasing all of this burden of constantly thinking of having a second chance with somebody and here it is we're opening the door we're letting them know that we care or vice versa it may take you by surprise it may take them by surprise but man oh man truthful new beginnings and we're going to work on this together there's going to be a victory here let's see what the romance angels has to say about this capricorn for Capricorn, February 2019, what is going on here? This is for Capricorn. What's going on with Capricorn? Yes. Engagement. Your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. We're going to work on this stronger. It's going to be stronger than ever. We're taking it to the next level here. Forgiving and learning. As you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moments. Forgiveness. I'm sorry. I miss you, right? Where This is a, a situation where, yes, it may have went south in the past, but you know what? The second time around, let's forget. Let's forget. Get all the bad signs. Let's work on this. Let's be truthful. Let's be honest. Let's work on this together. Right? Learn the lessons. Forgive. Release. Move on. Right? This is a beautiful, absolutely beautiful reading. And it, this, the relief here can be felt. Right? This burden of just con this constant thought about this has been lifted. And now we're starting out in truth and honesty and clarity. And we're both going to work on this. We're, we're, we're going to work on this together. All right, Capricorn, that is an absolute beautiful reading for February 2019. I hope I keep saying 2019. <laughs> I go live Sunday through Thursday with the daily message around noon Eastern Standard Time. And then um, Friday is the live Love, Luster, Loss, also around noon Eastern Standard Time. I will be working on the How Do They Feel About You series next week. So keep an eye out for all of that. And um, if I don't see you around, happy Valentine's Day. You all take very good care of yourself and have an absolute beautiful week. God bless.